How's it going movie fans? The 30th of June 2018 is the 59th birthday of actor Vincent D'Onofrio. If I were to make a list of underrated actors, there's a good chance that D'Onofrio would be on it. Looking over his career, of the 18 films I've seen, no two roles are alike. D'Onofrio seems to pride himself on creating characters and making them unique through his performance. His feature film debut came in 1983 and he currently has two films in development with The Kid and A Fall From Grace. Here are the Firewall's top 10 Vincent D'Onofrio movies. At number 10 is The Salton Sea. Following the death of his wife, Danny Parker falls into the world of drugs and corruption, simultaneously setting up a large drug deal and sting operation for two cops. D'Onofrio plays Hollandale Monty, aka Pooh Bear, a psychopath and meth dealer. The running time is 103 minutes, and The Sultan Sea has the firewall rating of 6.6 .6 out of 10. At number 9 is Adventures in Babysitting. After her boyfriend cancels their date, Chris Parker is convinced by her mother to take a job babysitting, but with a friend in need, Chris takes the kids into the city on a rescue mission. D'Onofrio plays Dawson, a mechanic who fixes the group's car. The running time is 102 minutes, and Adventures in Babysitting has the firewall rating of 6.7. At number 8 is The Judge. Hank Palmer is a successful big city defense attorney who returns to his small town route and his estranged family following the death of his mother. Things get more complicated when his father is accused of a hit and run. D'Onofrio plays Hank's older brother, Glenn. The running time is 141 minutes and the judge has the firewall rating of 6.9. At number 7 is The Magnificent Seven. This remake of the classic western from 1960 has no shortage of star power, including D'Onofrio as Jack Horn, a religious tracker, as the townspeople of Rose Creek who have been enslaved hire a group of bounty hunters to help liberate them. The running time is 132 minutes, and The Magnificent Seven has the viral rating of 6.9. At number 6 is Kill the Irishman. Based on the true story of Irish-American Danny Green, who rose to the top of Cleveland's criminal underworld during the 1970s, which led to numerous assassination attempts. D'Onofrio plays John Nardi, a made man in the Cleveland Mafia. The running time is 106 minutes, and Kill the Irishman has the firewall rating of 7. At number 5 is Ed Wood. Edward Wood Jr. was an author and filmmaker known for his low budget and poorly made movies, so much so he was posthumously named the worst director of all time. This is his story. D'Onofrio makes a short appearance as Orson Welles. The running time is 127 minutes, and Ed Wood has the firewall rating of 7.5. At number 4 is Men in Black. The Men in Black are a government agency tasked with protecting the Earth from extraterrestrial violence and they have their work cut out for them when an alien species arrives on Earth inhabiting the body of Farmer Edgar, played by D'Onofrio. The running time is 98 minutes and Men in Black has the firewall rating of 7.5. At number 3 is The Player. This film depicts some of the absurdities of the film industry and the life of a studio executive who fears losing his job and who begins receiving death threats from a disgruntled worker who he has rejected in the past. D'Onofrio plays David Kahane, a screenwriter. The running time is 124 minutes and the player has the firewall rating of 7.8. At number 2 is JFK. When a New Orleans district attorney starts investigating further into the facts of the JFK assassination, he comes up against fierce political opposition who attempt to destroy his reputation. D'Onofrio plays Bill Newman, a witness to the shooting. The running time is 189 minutes, and JFK has a firewall rating of 7.9. At number 1 is Full Metal Jacket. In this Vietnam War drama, D'Onofrio plays Private Leonard Lawrence, aka Goma Pyle, as we follow a group of US Marines through army training and facing combat, depicting the harsh conditions they faced and the brutality of the war itself. The running time is 116 minutes, and Full Metal Jacket has the firewall rating of 
Thanks for watching. Next week I'll be counting down the Firewall's top 10 MCU movies. Don't forget to subscribe for more top 10s and reviews.